Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy. This week I am going back into my 6x8 little book here for Stretch the Sketch. I am trying to, like I think this page will go here next to me and Luke. So I'm going to scrapbook a photo of Luke and put it in right here. So that's what I am doing. Stretch the sketch. You can stretch it either way. And I will have a photo of the sketch. Um, I, I'll leave down in the description who has the sketch because I can't see it right yet. I can't make it out. But I will leave it down below. And I will leave a whole list of all the lovely ladies that are doing a layout today. Using, we're using the same sketch. So, okay, let's start. I already punched my holes. And this I'm just going to cover this up. So, I am almost out of all my adhesives and I have been trying to just go through all my older glues and everything and use it up before my favorites run out until I can get somewhere to buy me some and I know I can order it online I just I need to order some ATG glue let's see See that okay? I'm gonna turn it though to try to line up the the holes and and okay, it's over just a little bit. So I think what I'll do is just trim this. I'm not worried about it. You know, they're not in page protectors, and but I did notice that. <clears throat> my book is getting um, pretty thick. So this time I'm using like flat embellishments. Okay, in the sketch, they had a little piece with holes punched out. And I used a strip and I used my two inch hole punch. So, well, that's kind of crooked. Just noticing that. Okay, so there, and then it showed where it had bigger circles, and to bring out Luke's white shirt, or the green and white, and I have all this green and a hint of blue, I thought I would bring in some white, so I'm going to lay them there. Now, these are the pieces that came out of there, and I thought it would be cool to just place them in there. Maybe, should I pop them up? I'm going to have the photo there. Um, I think I want it flat. I don't know. So, this was a, I don't know if it was from, it's Maggie Holmes. Um, and I took the chipboard off to make it flatter. And you could still see the top. And then over here it has like a frame. And I pulled a couple of these labels. Thought that would look cute. This one's upside down. So this is what I'm planning anyway. And then I know this is a different color green, but... I thought maybe it would add some color to it. I don't know. So let me, I will glue all this down and get some twine for this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I glued these down. Now, let's see. I think I want to, there's one that has a lot of splatters and I want that one to show the most. 
So I'm thinking maybe the middle one. And maybe it'll show some. Isn't that cool? I like, I really like this sketch. Okay. The photo should go around here. That's straight. Okay. I wonder if I should, since this is going to be on top. Now, do I have that upside down? Oh, the older you get, your eyesight plays tricks on you, and I can't find my bifocals. Okay, it's going to go, well, let's put this down. And I forgot to get my twine, but I did pull some white chalk ink I thought would look cool around there. So, well, did I want, uh-oh, whoops, that rep, but that's going to be covered up. I want this on top, and then like that. Okay, now, I did pull a butterfly, and this is from Sunny Day's collection, Maggie Holmes. Here's some green little sunglasses, and I know he don't have sunglasses on, but the colors went perfect. There's a... Excuse me. There's a little heart. Where do I want that? Hmm. Do I want hearts? All these, like, circle punches are kind of messing with my eye. How about let's put that up there? Um, and it's kind of hard to... There's a blue. And I have these pulled off of the Sunny Days collection kit. And this green. And then here's that iridescent one to kind of go with that butterfly. Okay. Let's do a little inking. And, oh yeah, wow, it still works after 20 years. <laughs> I swear it's been 20 years. So I've had this for a long time. I pulled out my tray of green ribbon, my favorites. I just have in a little drawer sorted by the colors. And I thought if there was some that would kind of match, I would staple some. What a, I like that this brings it out the blue. So kind of, that's my first choice. Then there's this one. I could use both. That brings out the blue. This brings out the paper. Which one should I do? And then there's this one. Oh gosh. I think I like these two to get. I don't know. Them two look good too. Oh, that is hard. Okay, I want to use all three of them. So, let's just get cut a little piece. And I have all my ribbon. I used to be in a ribbon club eons ago when uh, Two Piece was around. And I would subscribe every month to a ribbon. And I would buy it by like three yards at the craft store. All right, let's put this blue one in the middle. Gotta find my stapler. Okay. All right, and then, and then I will go back and trim them. I used to do this a long time ago, and I was going through my old albums, and I found a layout where I used to use a lot of ribbon, and I still like it. Okay, this, what do you think? Should I splatter 
or should I leave it alone? Oh, it's so cute. I love these sketches. And make sure you go check out everybody else because all their, all of our layouts are so pretty and they're all so different. And that's what makes this fun to do. Okay, so. This is going to go right here. Right here. So that'll be cute next to each other. So I want to thank you all for coming. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.